What up? Today we're going to be ranking the wide receivers of the NFL teams, um, but specifically the wide receiver ones. And this list is going to be based off of last year's rosters because some of these guys are free agents and haven't signed elsewhere yet. So it's based off of the 2022 rosters and who their wide receiver one was. I've already got these sorted out. Uh, you can see down here, uh, Chris Godwin will be, he's actually to me a wide receiver too. I'm going to have Mike Evans as the wide receiver one. So that the guys up to Chris Godwin will be the wide receiver ones. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Our uh, let me go over our tiers first. Um, the wide receiver one of one tier. That's I mean obviously I think there'll be multiple guys in that tier, but they are like the elitist wide receivers. The guys who I mean it don't matter who's throwing to them, they're gonna be successful anyways. Um, and then after that, very good, uh, solid, okay, not a number one, and then an XFL wide receiver one. Um, so. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Devontae Adams is going to be our first guy, and I personally think he's the best wide receiver in the NFL. Um, so he's going to be in that one-of-one one tier. Uh, he'll have a little bit of company there, but not a whole lot. Um, just kick the table. After that, we're going to have Rashad Bateman. I'm going to go ahead and put him in not a number one. Um, I think he's a fine receiver, but just not everybody's number one. And that's – it's just, you know, it is what it is for him. Uh, Jamar Chase, to me, he's very good. I think there's a lot of things there. Like, he, he's the best of the very good, though. Don't get me wrong. He's, he's just under the one-of-one one tier to me. Um, to me, there's a lot of things there that he's helped out with his connection to Joe Burrow. And, like, it's great for him. There's no, you know, pain in that. But he's just he's probably the best of this – the best of the guys that's not in wide receiver one-of-one one tier. After that, Mike Evans, he's also going to be in the very good tier. Um, he's a little older, but he's – I mean, he's so consistent, and he's had so much success with – random quarterbacks like Blaine Gabbert and some guy named Tom Brady. But either way, um, you know, just he, he's a pretty good receiver. Uh, Garrett Wilson, he won rookie of the year. He's kind of tough. So he, he's, obvi he's a good player, don't get me wrong. But for now, he's just going to go in solid. Um, it's kind of just a youth thing. You can't just give him everything all at once. So he's going to stay there for now. Tyreek Hill, to me, he fits in that wide receiver one of one tier. He's just a weapon. Um, and, but I will say, I wouldn't be shocked if after this next season, he's not in that tier anymore. I mean, his biggest additive is his speed and he's 30 or 31, I think. So he could be towards the end of his career already, uh, or towards of his amazing parts of his career. Cooper Cup. Ooh, he's tough. I'm going to put him in the very good tier. I'm going to even put him above Mike Evans, even though not matters about that, but either way. He's a great wide receiver, uh, but he just he, he hasn't done it for that long. I mean, two years, and granted, last year he was the best receiver in the league for this season, but I just I don't think he's like the one of those guys who's just the top of the class. I mean, I think you'd take Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, and maybe a couple more ahead of him. So Darius Slayton, I'm going to put him in not a number one. Um, he's, he's okay, but he's, he's not a number one. I wouldn't want him as my number one on any team, really. Darnell Mooney, same thing. Wouldn't want him as my number one. The Bears probably didn't want him as their number one either. And, you know, they had him as the number one, but that was just because of what it had to be. Christian Kirk, I'm going to put him in okay. And that might be a little controversial. He could be in not a number one. But, I mean, I'm not necessarily happy that he's my number one if I'm them. But he played this year like a number one. I mean, he put up the stats like a number one. He was as reliable as a number one. So. I think he deserves to be at least in the OK tier for this point on. Amon Ross St. Brown, he's really tough. He's either here or here. Ooh, I'm gonna have to put him. I'm gonna put him in the solid tier, but I'm gonna put him above Garrett Wilson for what it's worth. I mean, he's a good receiver. Don't get me wrong, but he he actually might move later in the video. I might I might move him up later in the video, but we'll stay here for now. Michael Thomas, he's going in solid. He probably is a very good receiver, but. He just can't stay healthy, and if you can't play, you know, the best ability is availability, so that's just a big issue for him. So I'm going to keep him in the solid tier for now. Juju, I'm going to go the best of the okay tier. He, he's as reliable as a number one to me. I mean, he he's like one of the most sure-handed wide receivers in the NFL. He catches everything he touches, but in terms of the explosiveness and athleticism, he may not be there, but... I mean, he's he's had him to play the wide receiver one role for multiple years in the NFL for the Chiefs, for the Steelers, and 
now for the Patriots, it's going to be that he just signed there within 15 minutes ago. Uh, but I just he's he's okay. That's all. That's all he is at this point. He's just he's okay. Um, you know, I'd love him back in Pittsburgh, but I I'm happy with Deontay Johnson above him. Uh, AJ Brown, he's going to go in this very good tier as well. Uh, like I said, I'm not organizing these. He might be better than Mike Evans and Cooper Cup, but I'm just going to leave him there. Jerry Judy, I'm going to put him in the okay tier too. Some could argue Cortland Sutton's the wide receiver one there. It's pretty close, but Judy is, I'm just going to leave him there, and he's okay. I mean, Cortland Sutton would probably be okay too. I mean, I wouldn't be necessarily just elated with them as my number one, but I, I, it's dealable. Um, and Juju, I think. He's the same thing. Like, as a number one, he's fine, but you wouldn't be just overly excited about him being the best one you got. Jacoby Myers, personally, I don't think he's a number one. He is a slot receiver that's pretty good, but, I mean, he's just not number one. I think he's a pretty solid number two, don't get me wrong, but not a number one. Brandon Cooks, I'm going to put him in solid tier. He's had a lot of really good seasons in the NFL with some crappy quarterbacks, so I'll give him credit where it's due. Um, but, yeah, next is Debo Samuel. He's going to be in the very good tier. Um, he's a good receiver, but I don't know how good he would be without the running back side of things. Like if you took away all his rushing, I feel like his hype would die down a little bit, which, you know, it's great that he can do that. It's, you know, it's a benefit to him more than it is to anything else. But just if you did take that away, you know, where does he land? That's, that's a pretty big question in my opinion. After that, DK Metcalf. Ooh, I'm not a DK Metcalf fan, but he floats somewhere here. Really, he's either very good or solid. And I'm going to leave him in solid for now. He might move up later as well. I think I take Amon Ross St. Brown over him. Uh, he, I think Amon Ross St. Brown's a little more reliable. DK Metcalf is, he's got some drop issues and stuff, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave him in solid for now. Uh, CD Lamb, I'll put him in solid as well. Uh, he's a good receiver. Don't get me wrong. Uh, nothing, I don't have anything to say bad about him, but I just, you know, he's not an elite wide receiver. Alan Lazard, uh, he's going to be not a number one. You might argue he wasn't Green Bay's number one, and that was Christian Watson, but he was the into starting into the year the number one. He was Rodgers' most favored receiver overall, so you just got to give him that credit. Amari Cooper, oh, he's another one. I'm going to put him in very good, but I think he's kind of the back end of this. He's a good receiver, but I just feel like he's a little bit less reliable than others. Um, He's a good route runner, but I, I like, I think, all of these guys over Amari Cooper, I think. Stephon Diggs, I think he's in that one-of-one one tier. I think he's that dude. Um, yeah, then Deontay Johnson, I think I'm going to put him in the very good tier. Uh, he could be solid. He'll be solid. I'll put him in solid. Um, you know, Deontay Johnson, I've seen a lot of interviews where corners like Darius Slay and uh, Asante Samuel Jr. say he's in their top five of the hardest receivers to guard in the NFL because he's so elusive, and that's that gives him a lot of credit. That's why I might put him up here, but you know, I can see I can see a lot of people saying that Amon Ross St. Brown, DK Metcalf, they're better than him. I don't think any of these three at this point are necessarily far and away better than him because he can't stay healthy. He's a rookie. CeeDee Lamb's just I mean, he's he's good, but I, I think Deontay's got a little bit above him in in my opinion. But either way, yeah. Uh D Hop is next and he's gonna be very good. He's up here somewhere, definitely. Uh his problems kind of just age at this point though. Drake London. Hmm. That one's tough. I'm going to put him at not a number one right now. Um, and I'm actually going to drop Darius Slayton down. I'm kind of seeing that. Rashad Bateman, too, honestly. Um, you know, Darius Slayton's fine. I'm not hating on him necessarily. He's a solid number two, but I just, he's not a one. Not, a, not at all. Jacoby Myers, same way. I see them all three kind of the same. Lazard has the bigger body more deep threat guy, so I'm going to leave him there. But, yeah, Drake London's kind of in the same boat. He's just got – he's just too young, hasn't done enough yet. DJ Moore, ooh, this one's tough too. I'm going to put him at solid. Uh, I think he's the back end of solid. He's he's good. He's done a lot of good with crap quarterbacks as well. But I just – I mean, he gets a 1,000 yard seasons, but it's just right at 1,000 yards. I don't feel like there's ever been much more than that. So I'll leave him there. Michael Pittman, same deal. Uh, he He's young. He hasn't had a whole lot. I think he's been in the league for three years or so. So, you know, he's he's fine. Um, then Robert Woods. No offense to Bobby Trees, but, yeah, he's not a number one at all. It's pretty embarrassing that the Tennessee Titans had him as their number one. Um, 
Traylon Burks is fine, but he's too young and he didn't play enough to be a wide receiver one for the Titans. So Robert Woods, yeah, if he's your one, yikes. Justin Jefferson, easily up here with these guys. That's not necessarily in order. I didn't mean to put them there necessarily, but um, yeah. Scary Terry, he's going to be very good. He'll be up at the front too. Um, really good receiver. Keenan Allen, he's tough. I would definitely put him in very good. Yeah, okay. He's the back end of very good. I, I think he's honestly better when healthy than Amari Cooper, but he just has so much problem staying healthy. So that's a problem to me. Um, but yeah, so that should be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. These are my tiers. If you don't like them, big deal. I don't care. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you do think in the comments. I'll, I'll look over those some. And, you know, uh, thank you all for watching again. Like, subscribe, send it to your friends or don't. I can't control you. Peace.